And we're live again, Andy, 30 days later from when we were last month. Hey, Jeanette, how are you doing? I'm trying to keep cool underneath my hot collar. Let's put it that way. <laughs> well, you know what? And we're we're not even close yet to our highs. I think Monday will be the hottest day. 34 34 degrees i think um, i listen to an american radio station i live close to the border um and they were saying this like 92 or 93 fahrenheit so it's going to be so important that if we know anybody that is like a shut-in or, or elderly or just to check in on them to see if they're keeping cool and that's yeah. our responsibility yeah yeah no it uh i think it's important that at times like this is like when it's really really cold you know, mm -hmm. when you shovel your neighbor's lawn, uh, no, shovel their sidewalk. Um, you know, now it's summertime, and when it gets really hot, we need to uh, bring some water next door. Just make sure that everybody's doing well. I uh, last uh, the last heat dome. I actually um, know a couple of elderly people that uh, over in Walnut Grove that passed away uh, during the heat. Mm. It was it was very very sad. Yeah. So I often Thank say, and what I do is a case of water is so inexpensive. Mm -hmm. This time of year, I'll just tuck one in the back of my car. And if I happen to see somebody or carry some with me and, and just give somebody a bottle of water, let's, let's yeah. all meet yeah. each other's first basic need of just having a nice drink of water. Yeah. That's nice. That's very nice. Yes. So Andy, let's uh, swing into yeah. action. What's going yeah. on? Yeah. Let's, uh, let's be a little bit more positive. Um, I shall uh, get right into, um, what we've got here for this month because it's it's getting it's getting exciting um the market is turning and um from our um average of 21 22 percent decrease in uh pricing from last year march we've uh, we've had about a three-month turnaround now uh for mm -hmm. sales the fraser valley real estate board processed uh, 1554 sales for the month of April 2023 and it was largely unchanged from March of last month and it's a 5.1 decrease from April of, of last year which is um which we'll talk about a little bit later and because the supply of new inventory in April decreased 3.2 percent from March of last month uh processing 2478 new listings which is a decrease, and this is really important, it's a decrease to 31.6% of listings uh, processed compared to the same month last year. And, and to put it in a picturesque form, here's our graph, and uh, here's last year, April, and you can see March was, last year was the high, and when we hit that high, all of a sudden the listings started to um, come out, and everybody was starting to, to sell their home, and and here, you know, this is that 3,622 listings uh, in April with uh, 1,637 sales. Well, if you look at last month, you know, we're over a thousand less than mm -hmm. the previous year with sales rough, just a little bit less. And then again, we decreased again. So we're, we're heading into this lack of inventory um, with sales staying the same and where this turned our market south and to the you know 22 percent decrease and you know year over year we're going to start seeing prices solidify and go up and this so uh, a, a quick question for you as i see here uh what are you seeing in the way of like we see those 1554 you know new uh, listings that you that are out there right now um what's the quality of the properties out there or is it good for you to because i know you've got people looking to buy right now is how's the quality of um the listings out there well i mean it's it's a good average of um you know townhouses and and detached and uh and uh, the condo market but we uh, could use more acreages and i'm thinking okay. that, you know as the weather gets going we'll be uh, we'll see more of those but it it um, the quality I mean the quality is out there the the type of it but we're just not seeing enough right mm -hmm. uh, you know and um, and so we need to have more come on the market and this is again a reflection of uh, the Fraser Valley Real Estate Board months of inventory and here's our balanced market and this is we were very strong in this balanced market for the last year or so however uh, you know this is um, I think February. Uh, and then March and April, and now you can see that we've we've 
we're down here again uh, in this uh, seller's market um, position at, with not enough inventory. And so this is mm -hmm. going to start escalating our pricing. And again, this is inventory and for the Fraser Valley. And we've got three months of detached home um, uh, listings. Uh, for the townhouses, we got 1.7. And uh, for condominiums, we got 2.1. So the, again, we're, we should be in this range. We never mm. really quite hit it. And the underlying factor um, for the past three or four years, five years now is that we haven't had enough inventory and, and now we're, but we're, we're with the interest rates uh, leveling off and perhaps uh, we're going to start seeing an easing of those rates as inflation comes down. This is, go, this is, um, this is not going to be a, a good situation for, for purchasers. And this is our home price index for the uh, Fraser Valley yes. Real Estate Board. So here we can see, you know, uh, three months of upturn, and it's 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 kind of mirroring this, right? Interesting how yes. we, you know, if you're a graph person, how we touch bottom on the previous level, and uh, and then started to turn around again. Here, you know, you can see that the townhouse and the condo market is uh, also reflecting the same uh direction however not as strong as detached homes detached homes are actually the pricing is, is um is getting to be uh quite strong so uh, that's, that's just amazing to, to be able to see that and again it goes back to real estate is always a good investment yes yes for the long term yeah. um, and you know if you uh, are thinking of of, of purchasing now is the time because by the fall uh, we could see the pricing up another ten percent and mm -hmm. uh, that would you know could put you um, uh, further behind in, in what you can purchase and uh, you know here again you know with a balanced market being roughly five to six months of inventory we're down to two point two percent for our months of uh, detached homes the townhouse market is less than one uh, month. And the condominium is roughly two months of uh, inventory, so the uh, I, I, it's it becomes almost a broken record that uh, <laughs> that we need more inventory, and it, it's a little uh, some ways frustrating. But it's you know it, it's not that there we need more housing built too to fulfill the demand. All through the past year, the demand was there, but buyers were uh, really holding back because they were afraid of, of where the, the, the market was going. I mean, we had a 21, 22% decline in detached homes in the Langley area. Um, and so if you you wouldn't want to buy, but people were waiting and holding back. And, and now that it's starting to turn around, it's those buyers that uh, were looking in, in December, January, and February are starting to jump in. And this is what's pushing this price up too at the mm -hmm. same time. And with the, uh, you know, with the uh, detached homes, uh, where we we hit the low of about uh, one million four hundred sixty-two thousand four hundred, uh, we're now at one point uh, five million four hundred and two hundred. Uh, it's one million five hundred and forty-one thousand two hundred, which is which is a five percent increase in the in the last uh, three months. So that is sort of very. Um, that's almost like the same kind of decline that we had, same ratio uh, uh, set, but it's going up. And mm -hmm. uh, the mar the mar uh, townhouse market is staying relatively flat. It hasn't picked up as much. It's only increased uh, by 1.3% uh, from its uh, low of 800,600 to uh, 811,200. But the um, and the condo market, it was you know the low was at five hundred and forty nine thousand four hundred, and now we're at five seventy five five hundred, which is a four and a half uh, percent increase. So we're starting to see some strong increase in values. Hopefully, it'll level off a little bit. You know, it's just a, a little bit of a surge here. But yeah, the the market is definitely turning around. It is uh, it is changing again. The um, uh, and uh, you know you, it'll take a couple of months, but you'll start seeing it in the paper that um, in the news media that they'll talk about the real estate market being uh, um, uh, very strong and prices going up, and and you know they they haven't quite picked up on it yet. And that's our market report. Wow! Uh, yeah, it's just it's just fascinating. Oh my gosh! What yeah. is this? I think we have a fundraiser tonight. Do we not? 
Yes, we do. And I'm going to be the bartender. Oh, and I'm going to be doing the monitoring with our other director, Lucia Stieg, uh, the 50-50 and our silent auction. Andy, we have got some amazing oh, silent auction. Yeah, and yes. I can tell people that we discussed at our little meeting on, I think it was Monday or Tuesday, that if people want to come to the door, you know, yeah. they can come to the door and we'll let you in tonight. Yeah, yeah. It's only $35. Uh, a, the, a huge, huge silent auction many, many deals will be um, got there. Um, I mean, it's, you know, 100, 125 people can be there, but we, we got like 35, 40 silent auction items. So mm -hmm. uh, values like up to 200, uh, $350 artwork, uh, windows, gift certificates. Um, we, we have cake, we have wine, a well-seasoned, donated some uh, baskets. I'm picking up flowers from flowers on uh, 240th today. I love how community comes together, Andy, to make sure that, number one, the music and arts are well taken care of. It's so important in this day and age. Yes, yes very much. Um, and you're so, you're so lucky where you live and that when people buy in the Fort Langley, they have the Langley Fine Arts um, School that um, is just world renowned, putting out actors, actresses, musicians, artists. So uh, it's a great place to live in Fort Langley. It is. Um, I wouldn't live anywhere else. And, and you know, the, the Langley Fine Arts School has, yeah, they have put out some fantastic musicians. So that's tonight. Uh, uh, doors open at seven o'clock and um, there'll be a little bit lesson of swing dance. And then Dal Richards uh, Orchestra will be performing and 50-50 uh, silent auction and I'll be behind the bar. So we'll see you there. Okay, and um, yeah. something else is coming up on uh, Sunday, so this might be oh, a good great. idea to yeah. uh, take your uh, mom out tonight for an experience, because I don't know about you, the older I get, I want experiences in my life, I don't need, you know, many more things in my life, um, so I'm going to uh, wish my mom um, um, Happy Mother's Day. And I'm going to wish your better half, um, Nina, a Happy Mother's Day as well. Yes, yes, yeah, and I'll, I'll be, yes, it, it's going to be, the kids are going to be doing some, uh, you know, breakfast, we're going to go for a picnic, um, it's going to be really too hot, we've thought of some other things they're doing, but uh, yeah, we're going to stay, be staying cool, and um, I actually am looking forward to Mother's Day, because the kids are now a little bit older, I don't have to go out and buy the flowers in the car, <laughs> for them, they're going to do it, so it's, I'm just going to sit back and watch and, and appreciate the um, um what my kids can do for my mom for my mom for my wife <laughs> yeah, <her mom. laughs> oh my gosh oh, oh my gosh my okay God. everybody yeah. oh, yeah. um i look forward to uh us swinging into action tonight at our swing dance at the fort langley jazz and arts festival and um again happy mother's day to all the mothers happy out mother's there day. Right? Yeah. and yes. those that have stepped up into that role as well really important yes. yeah see you next month Andy. Well, see you next month